Hello guys, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the Polymer project video tutorial. Today I'm gonna talk about the simple uh, drop down menu for the Polymer project. Okay, uh, just like this. It's a very simple and doesn't need any thing extra knowledge. Okay, it's a very simple to use and uh, very efficient. Uh, for the UIs right so it's a very simple to do this first of all uh, for the drop down you have to import some uh, extra files to implement uh, the drop down menu for the uh, polymer project okay here I have imported the core collapses okay after that the core menu and after that the paper drop down, paper items and paper drop down menu. All this you have to import uh, to just create a proper drop, drop down menu. Okay. As I have already explained if uh, uh, you work with the pop ups you have to use the slash deep CSS to implement uh, on the drop downs if you want to styling your drop downs. Okay. Here I have a drop uh, style my drop down. After that, firstly, uh, I have created a template which is auto binding. Okay, but right now again, I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk about the how auto binding or uh, the events are working. Okay, so first here I have created a simple drop down menu uh, with the label your favorite pastries. After that, a drop down, uh, and I have a sign a class drop down which. Uh, which you can see which you can see over here the colored shadow and the ripple effects comes from okay like the borders and the background right after that in core menu uh, I have assigned some paper items as my elements okay that's done for the static drop down element it will automatically assign the uh, effects of a uh, ripple elements right so you do not need to do anything else for this okay now let's talk about the second one second one is a dynamic creation okay for the second one I have uh, just changed a pepper item uh, and uh, that element is wrapped by the template okay and the template has a repeat attribute with the pastries and as I have already declared that these templates are going to auto binding so uh, the pastries is my collection of pastries at the bottom of this okay and uh, I have told to my template that this template is going to replicate or repeat okay for the whole items okay that means it is automatically create the multiple paper items with the elements like this and the output is going to this one right guys okay now coming to the next point here I have again created a constraint height okay that means a, a limited height and with the same structure for the template repeat and the paper element with the pastries okay this is my limited height limited constraints so it will works only in limited areas if I remove the limited constraint height class let's see what happens it's a toggle Okay, one more thing. We have missed the layer. Drop down layer class. Okay, now when I click on this and then click on this, still it's not creating a layered property. So
ओके टॉगल ओवर ले कस्टम स्टाइल है ओके वे आर गेटिंग इन द डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स हियर इज द कस्टम स्टाइलिंग द कस्टम स्टाइलिंग इज दिस एंड दिस इज व्हाट ओके लेट मी ओके द कांस्टेंट हाइट इट्स अ लिमिटेड हाइट Right. If I remove the constraint height, and I'm gonna layer property. Okay, it scrolls automatically, right? And uh, if I remove the layer property and assign the constraint height. it is not scrolling automatically i have to manually scroll this <coughs> element all these elements right <coughs> after that for the colored elements here i have uh, created a colored class and i have assigned a proper color for that okay that's why my output becomes uh, coloring right see here i have to i cannot able to scroll so i'm going to assign the layered properties to my drop down layered now if i scroll this and i'm going to scrolling easily okay with my mouse right but if you notice we cannot get the color effect for this because as i already told you if you are uh, working with your uh, pop up or dialogs then you have to use the slash deep slash in your css right that means let us try Okay, and I'm gonna change this L A Y L A Y E R E D layered. Let's check what happened. Right? It's gonna changed. At once, you can do the different different styles in your own project. guys i hope you are enjoying this polymo project i need your suggestions and comments you can send it uh, at my email id webbustings@gmail.com right or you can also go comment uh, on my youtube videos and uh, if you want to get more detail video structures then you can visit my youtube channels in my polymo material design of phone gap playlist here you can get all the video tutorials which i have created for the polymer projects thanks for watching till then don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks bye bye